Hello and welcome to the Lucian Freud exhibition at the National Portrait Gallery in London. It's one of these big British shows that are taking place this year to commemorate the spirit of the Olympic Games. So there are a lot of big exhibitions opening, but they'll have to go some to be better than this. The first of the women who make a prominent appearance in Freud's portraiture is Kitty Garman, his lover in the 1940s. And you can see him here at his very best in this first style of his, when he paints the women with such big eyes. And his technique is so delicate and precise. Freud had a very unglamorous taste in women. Some of these women were his lovers, but by no means all. What unites all of them though, even though they come in so many different shapes and sizes, some fat, some thin, some blonde, some brunettes, some very young, some very old. What unites them all is this powerful sense of humanity, of reality. I mean, these are not airbrushed, page three girls who've been made to look pretty. These are real people with real body hair and real sagging boobs and this real magnificent sense of what being human really means. You get small portraits in this show, but also huge ones, none bigger than this extraordinary suite of portraits of Lee Bowery, the Australian performance artist. What an extraordinary behemoth of a man. And he's sitting there so brazen and confrontational, and these great mountains of flesh that Freud liked to paint. One of the really great things about Freud is that he liked fat people. Now this makes me feel very good, because I'm a fat person. And so was Sue, who appears in this spectacular suite of portrayals of a fat woman lying around on a sofa, sitting, sleeping, snoozing. This great mountain of flesh that he painted. It's as if he's saying, this is a person, this is her body, and I'm going to paint it with all the fascination I can muster. This is such an exciting exhibition. It isn't just the show of this year, it's the show of many, many years. And frankly, you know, if you miss this, you will miss something so important.